at the weekend was it came out at 17.2 miles and i know um some who do it um says it's 16 but my phone tracked 17.2 and it was a canny hike considering i just set off before lunchtime um so i parked up the heart Hope valley um at langley ford and instead of going across the bridge to go up this way and up that way to Scald Hill and Chevia, I went up the horse and uh, followed the horse and burn up horse and valley, skirted the bottom of horse and crags, and you can go up this way, which takes you up like Cold Law, Broadstruther, and places like that. But I just carried on, kept going along this path here along the side of Broad Hope Hill and you come to the fence. Now this is the fence, this bit here is where the fence is. Now you can follow the fence line up to Scald Hill and not achieve it or do what I did um, and you follow this little rough track. You can see that it is quite a good track um, until you get, sorry, until you get to the fence line and then you cross over the fence and then this here so this is like your main track, but this here is quite rough. You've got to be really careful um, because there's a lot of sinkholes. There is like a quad track that you could follow, but I missed it and I ended up going through the rough. Um, and then I came back on myself here just to get find that quad track. Found the quad track and followed it down. And there's like a little... There's a ford here that you cross and just about here, all these trees have been felled, but just about here, there's like a little shed, which is locked. Don't know what it's used for. I've got a feeling it's used for the shoots. Um, but if you look up to your left, you're looking onto the side of Chevia and this bit here, you can follow the path up and go to, up to Hole Hub Crags, which is really nice. But I kept on this track and went all the way down to Gold's Club Farm. There is a little path that goes at the front of the house, but I just stayed on the track and went through their sort of back drive, which you're allowed to do. And then I followed the Lambton Burn, and you've got Bellyside Hill on this side, which I've been up, which is absolutely stunning on a clear day. Um, and you come down the Lambton Valley, and you go past Dunsdale House, and Dunsdale Crag and then this it's actually a road it's a tarmac road that you get on here and go to Coldburn and then to Southern Now and the road joins on with this main road from Hethpool and here is where Cuddy Stone Hall is and I carried on up here on the road to Mount Hooley which is here which has a like a camping barn, um, which you can rent. I think it's about 18 quid per person a night, which is really good value. And this turns into just a track, a really um, sort of rough track. And then you come up here and you can either go up there onto the border ridge, which is this, is your border ridge. And there's a mountain refuge hut here. Um, I came up this bit here and missed the refuge hut and carried on up this main track onto Orcup Cairn and then on the Pennine Way and onto the Cheviot route to go to Cheviot and then all the way back down to Scald Hill and and I came down this way you can go that way which is the way I came up but I came back down this way and back to my car where I was parked there so yeah it was quite the walk sometimes you've just got to get out doesn't matter what the weather's like whether you can see through the mist or the sun is shining it does you good just to get out Make sure you've got a map and a compass and you know how to use it. A torch. If you're going alone, let somebody know where you're going and what your route is. And if it's going to change, let them know that too. 
don't forget to layer up and take your waterproofs. Take plenty of food and drinks. And it's also sensible to have your emergency kit. Mine includes an emergency blanket to keep warm in case I get stuck on a hill. It also has glow sticks, just in case I come across an illegal rave, you never know. And it goes without saying, a first aid kit. A whistle can also come in handy, just in case you do stumble upon an illegal rave. It doesn't matter how experienced or inexperienced you are, you always need the right kit. It's okay stepping out of your comfort zone, but just remember to be safe. If you're not a confident hiker, stick to the paths and tracks and always make sure you can read a map. Or go with someone. If you're not comfortable with something, don't do it. It's okay to turn around and go back. Don't put yourself at risk if you're not comfortable doing something. After all, the hills and the countryside will always be there for another day. I love being out in all weathers, especially when it's misty like this. It's on Chivia, there's something eerily beautiful about it. I know these hills really well, so I was comfortable being up there in weather like this. It was getting quite late when I was up here. But I have descended these hills in the dark before, so I wasn't worried at all. expert but I am a solo hiker and I just wanted to share some of my tips on being out in different conditions. Look at that. Thank you to the National Parks who have fixed this path beautifully at the ladder style on the way down and up from Chuviot. That is perfect. It used to be literally on an angle, that path, in the peat bog, but they fixed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you.